I don't call myself a hipster. I don't know if you can be a hipster and play in the NFL. I, mean, it's, I don't know. Uh, but I'm more, my style is more of a simple style. Less is more, kind of. Uh, so I tend to wear jeans and white v-necks or jeans and black t-shirts. It's pretty much what I wear. He just enjoys music and goes to those things. I don't think the definition of hipster is really Connor. But all hipsters say they're not hipsters, so I don't know. <laughs> I remember taking a class in college and one teacher talking about cities and talking about the four wall syndrome. And that was like about people ride their cars from the suburbs to the city every day. Outside of a car, you hear, you see, you feel, you smell. And if it wasn't for riding my fucking bicycle, I would not have met the people that have been planning this for over a year uh, and been involved in this project. This is the park. This is what uh, everything's for. Forever, this rim was never up, but that rim was up, and you saw like kids just playing half-court basketball. At first, I was like, we just need to fix the court. But then I met the wonderful people at Urban Roots and everybody in this community that's been working on doing a whole project. We're not only going to fix the court, but you know, make a whole big deal out of the whole thing. This will be there'll be obviously an entire new basketball court, uh, new sidewalks. There'll be a new playground over there. Over there will be the urban farm that we'll do, and then right below that, that mural, we'll do kind of the elders terrace, kind of a cross-generation type area for people to hang out. Hello, welcome to the MTWB, the inaugural MTWB benefit concert. Samara's really enjoying this. Um, when I and so I thought if we can Agnew use the Eagles and my platform, and then work with local musicians. Uh, we could kind of unite the community to make a difference locally here in Philly, and that's exactly what we're doing. That's that's what's the tangible thing is. That's why when I went to the artists, I said, "Yo, we're gonna have this this concert where you play for free, but it's all going to this park in South Philly, which you're from Philly. You know exactly where I'm talking about. Uh, would you be interested in doing it?" And they were they were on board right away. Uh, we have Kurt Vile tonight. This is gonna be a great night. My good friends, the Tontons, are up next. Thank you. Be nice to your bartenders. Well done. You got it. Do this. What's up, guys? You guys gonna come in? You guys coming to the show? Oh yeah. All right. What? What's up? How you doing? This is my brother. With the crew? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. It's starting. People are coming. Everybody's excited, man. Everything seems to be running smoothly. Hey, this is this isn't for uh, auction. One of the McCoys, one of the Foles, and one of the, the Jason Peters. This is Kurt Vile's room. Hey, what's up, guys? I actually, for the first time, just met Kurt and the Violators. Uh, they all seem super stoked for the show. Rennie, what's up, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Big day. Thank you guys all, man. I can't thank you enough, man. This is so cool. We might be awesome. <laughs> And uh, it might be, be a awesome. charming train wreck. Nah, it's, it's gonna be awesome. Either way, either way. Cool. You guys are here, so thank you, man. Yeah, dude. Looking thank forward you. to it, man. Yeah. Thank thanks, you, thanks, thanks. Back before I was a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> the open bar ends at eight, but the bar is for charity after eight o'clock. So let's get fucking drunk, dude. And I'm gonna be short and sweet and uh you know, feed off some of the adrenaline. Uh, hopefully the room fills up pretty quick when I talk. And, you know, just thank the right people because there's a lot of people that went into this and that's really what I need to do. Connor, ready? ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm Connor. Welcome to the inaugural MTWB Benefit Concert. I think just seeing how excited the musicians were to play the show, 
you know, I mean, the musicians played for free and I didn't know how it would be when they got here, but they were so stoked to play and they played so hard. And then, the, you know, everybody that was here was so excited about being here for the cause, being here to see the show. Uh, so just feeling that energy from everybody was the best part. I am very, very excited to announce that because all of you are here, we have raised over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars for Ralph Park. Thank you guys. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for your help. Maybe you have it. So whenever anybody comes in town, which is mostly men. Mostly all men. My friends, our dad, my friends, <laughs> our dad. That she would have to host them. The owners of this place thought Laura was a escort for like six months. <laughs> this is a true story.